Hi, I'm Rachel and this week I'm going to talk you through our engineering at home challenge which is going to be to build a rocket launcher. So hopefully yours will look a little bit like this and when it's all built you can pull it, launch it and make it go as far as you can. The materials we're going to need this week are two cardboard tubes, a sheet of cardboard or card, a straw, an elastic band, some paper or card to make the rocket, some tape and some scissors. Make sure any cutting is done with adult supervision. We're going to start by making the launcher. So first of all, take your two cardboard tubes and they'll need to fit inside each other. So what I've done is I've just made a slit down one of them. I'm going to roll it so it's together a bit more, check it fits down and then stick it together. So now we need to block the end of this smaller tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, put it on my bit of cardboard, draw around, cut that out and stick that to the bottom. So now we have the blocked bottom tube, we take our straw, try to make sure it's even on either side and stick it down. So now we're back to the bigger tube, what you're going to do is you're going to cut four vertical slits, you can see where I've marked them on mine, on either side, two on either side, about a centimetre apart. So now it's time to thread your elastic band through these slits. So you're going to put that out a little bit and thread that elastic band in. And repeat this on the other side. Now it's time to put it all together. So you're going to slot your smaller tube into your bigger tube like that and loop the elastic band around the straw. Try to make sure this is evenly spaced and now when you pull it down your launcher is finished. Feel free to decorate at this point, it should look really, really fun and use whatever you'd like. To make the body of your rocket, take a sheet of paper or card and roll it up into a tube like this. Then you're gonna take a bit of sellotape, stick it down the little seam so that it's all connected and that is gonna be the body of your rocket. The most important thing is to note that your rocket needs to be able to fit inside your launcher so don't make the tube any wider than the smallest tube of your launcher. If we want our rocket to fly the furthest possible we need to make it aerodynamic which means it needs to cut through the air. So how we're going to do that is we're going to make a nose cone. You can change the design of this and it will make it go further and faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw around something that's circular so I'm just using the inside of my tape. We're going to cut that out And now we're going to cut just one line into the middle. What we're then going to do is we're going to rotate it round so it makes a cone and we're going to stick it and that's what's going to go on the top of our rocket. Everything should now be completed. Feel free to decorate yours, make them look a lot more interesting than these and now it's time to start testing. When it's time to test, you're going to need a lot of space. So I've come out into my garden to make sure no one gets in my way and it can go as far as possible. So when you're ready to launch, have a go. So to launch a rocket, what you do is grab hold of the straw, pull it down and then just let go. If you want to keep track of how far it's going and try different styles of rockets to see how far you can get them, set yourself a start line, set it on an angle, pull it back and let go. And then measure how far it goes from there. I hope you enjoyed this week's engineering at home project. Please go and look at all the others on this channel. Make sure you tweet us at Small Peace Trust and hashtag engineering at home and send us all your photos and videos of all your creations. We really want to see how you're getting on and how cool they look.